here comes a stroll that stirs a drink around NWA Fusion, the former Alpha champion, the Mimfu Mofu, Mark Lavera. His manager, Marcus King Kong Daly, has got one cocktail attitude, as a lot of people say. Not sure how long he's gonna have that neck brace on. I tell you about that, a real serious injury. Some people start to call him a gold breaker, if you know what I'm saying. Look at the mofo out here. Get a good look at him. What's he gonna do? Looks like he's going after one of our fans out there. We need to get some security in front of those people. Jack Dillinger. A little tired of that last shakeup we had, I guarantee it. Still trying to subdue the Jordy Bulldog, Sean Denny, I'm sure. But now here we go. The Bobo up on the ropes. Basking in a ray of boom. Not one of the fan favorites, let me tell you. But a consummate professional in the middle of the square circle, nonetheless. Marcus Dallin looking to say something here. Ooh, got to go through the routine here. I tell you, I don't understand a pair of pants that gets pulled off myself. But some of these guys really like it. A man who is a greater Not even a zipper on him. It's a nice day out here in King and Queen, too. Let me tell you, it's about 75 degrees outside. Sunny, nice breeze outside. So it's a good day for the fans of Fusion to be coming in here and enjoying some exciting wrestling action. I don't know if it's just me, but Marcus Dowling's mouth looks exceptionally large as he's screaming out the introduction there of his wrestler, the Mimpo Mopo, Mark Levere. Weighing in at 193 pounds. His unfortunate opponent tonight is a youngster, Logan Knight. Logan Hodge. I'm sorry, I got him confused with a scrub wrestler from back in the day. Logan Hodge, a much more accomplished wrestler than Logan Knight did ever was. I'll have to take that gentleman after dinner to make up for that one. That's like calling him, uh, that's like calling him one of the Mokies or something, I'll tell you what. Logan Hodge stomping his way up the steps. Really looking to move up the ladder here in NWA Fusion. That's what it's all about. I mean, sometimes things get lost when emotions are involved, but what it's all about is moving up the ladder and getting a hold of that 10 pounds of gold. That's what all the guys are really here for. Mark Bavura looking intense in there. What's he going to do? I'm not sure Logan Hodge knows quite what he's in for. I'm being joined right here by Spencer Chestnut. How you doing, Bob? It's nice to be back here. We got a big match here. Mark Rivera versus Logan Hodge. A big test for Logan Hodge tonight, and I hope he can do something with his chance. Mark's talking to him in there. Probably trying to talk some sense into the kid. You probably didn't want to be here right now. He might be, because Mark Rivera hasn't just been winning matches lately. He's been beating people up, choking them out, and, and I know that you, Bob Cobble, you've been the victim of the weaver lock, both in and out of the ring. I know what you know what it feels like to be choked out. I can tell you that from first-hand experience. Well, he's been using that Memphis Mafia kick, and the people he's hit with it have not returned to action. I tell you, I don't know what happens. 
I don't know either. They haven't been back in quite a while. They may, we may never see him again. And I fear for Logan Hodge tonight. But if he can do something with this chance, it's a big opportunity for him. All they can do is go for it. The kid's got guts. Wait a minute. Oh! And a broadside attack, a Pearl Harbor attack right there by the mofo. And up and over on top of Logan Hodge. I've never seen anybody from Memphis do that before in my life. I tell you, in Memphis, that's probably a disqualification. I wouldn't doubt it. If it was Memphis, he'd be bleeding right now, let me tell you. He but sure would. He's putting it on him on the outside. He's biting him. He's biting him. That, that's not right. That's not fair. I mean, Memphis is rough and tumble, but, I mean, you shouldn't be doing that stuff. You're right, though. He would be gushing just like a stuffed pig, and his face would be a crimson mask if we were in Memphis right now. It looks like he's going to the top right here. He's ascending to the third rope. And right here, down the clothesline. Logan Hodge is in trouble. I don't even think he knows where he's at. He's being decimated in there. And now he's choking him, Spencer. This is, this is bad. This is bad. I don't even think he remembers his mama's name right now. Oh, the young blue chipper really getting worked over by the veteran. Listen to the impact there as he's driving those fists down to the side of the jaw. And I know from broken jaws, if he takes much more of that, he's going to end up in the hospital with pins in his face. He doesn't need that. Logan Hodge may decide that discretion is the better part of the valor and get out of Dodge. Right now, Mark Rivera not worried about any pins, including a pinfall. He's just punishing him. And another right hand. Took him right down. Logan Hodge needs to show some drive, some determination, some desire, or at least some offense. Just for him to be in there with a bow for was showing a lot of heart. Another right hand, hard across the side of the head. He's got him back in the corner. What's he going to do here, Bob? What's he going to do here? He's dropping the strap right here. He's going to drill it with it. And a big right hand. And Logan Hodge is out. He I is out. He drops the strap. He brings all 225 pounds and drives it into the side of the face with that right hand. And now he's choking him out again. Somebody call the law. Somebody call the law. This is wrong. Young referee came on in there. Can't quite get him off. Mofo with a clean break, but only after some dirty, underhanded tactics. They slap him in the back of the head. And insult to injury right here. Another one. Mofo might be careful here because Logan Hodge. Him right here. Logan Hodge may be just trying to lull him to a false sense of security, and it looks like that's what he's done right here. There he is. He's firing back on him. He wanted a fight, and that's what he's getting out of the kid. Oh, move to the midsection, slows the kid down. He got caught with the elbow, coming into the corner. Now, boom. The kid's ascending the ropes there. Comes down with a flying burrito. And that young up-and-comer came right down on Mark Revere. There he goes again with another clothesline. He's really coming to life. He's a house of fire in that ring right now, Bob. And now another set-out clothesline. Oh. Looks like some hesitation by the youngster. He got caught and he got drilled for it. He took too long to decide what to do, and Mark Revere decided for it. He wasn't doing anything. But he's still going after him. That is a resilient kid. Oh, wow. What guts by Logan Hodge. He's getting the crowd behind him. He's getting fired up here, trying to take the former Alpha champion to the limit. And another one into the corner. This time, but oh no, Rivera catching him with a backbreaker. You can only go one too many times to the well before you find out there's no water. And it is dang short drive. Here's a time machine. And Mark Rivera, he, he could probably end the right match right now. This is just wrong. He should pin the man. This is all about an athletic contest. And I tell you what. Mark Revere, he's even got help at ringside. He's got Marcus Dowling out there as his athletic supporter because he can't do it by himself, and he still won't end the match. I tell you what, Marcus Dowling is one heck of an athletic supporter, too. But he's looking right here. He's saying he's got no blood on his hand, and he's going for the mafia kick. He crammed him. Nailed him right in the head. Now the referee's going to count. It's elementary from here. Nobody's been able to get up. He 
should just stop the match. This poor kid, who knows if Mark McGear is going to get up and inflict more punishment. Referee, you, you should just stop the match now. He Mark McGear gaining momentum right here. He gets his win. Going into Civil War. Going into the King of the Mid Atlantic. Got to be one of the heavy favorites going into those two big events for the NWA Fusion Continental Heavyweight Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, Mark Bavira standing there with Logan Hodge. Another impressive victory by the former Alpha champion. They're going to have to scoop him up with a pop. His head of security, Jack Dillinger. All right, fill the circle when I see him out. While we're at it, ladies and gentlemen. NWA Fusion Meltdown, NWA Fusion on tour. Next week, West Point High School, September the 25th, Civil War. October the 2nd, West Point Crab Court for one half of the King of the Mid-Atlantic Tournament Bracket. And also, in the White Bar Shopping Center for Military Appreciation Day in Boston, Virginia. Simultaneous shows, eight men taking on each other in one tournament, eight men taking on each other in the other. Live West Point Grand Carnival and live at Military Appreciation Day in Boston, Virginia. And remember to return to Meltdown next month. Both of those guys, one of those two graduates, will be going at it to see who gets a shot at the winner of Civil War to become the new NWA Continental Heavyweight Champion. I don't even know what we're talking about, but it's just going to be while we're waiting here, after October the 2nd, you got October 9th. NWA Fusion returns to Climax, North Carolina, right outside of Greensburg with sports hunting action out there. We'll see how this